was like, <laughs> 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 uh, But okay. uh, going back to the very beginning, right, Miss Christina, you, if I'm not mistaken, did some childhood stuff. Did you? You did, right? Yes, I did. Oh, was... no, I don't talk about it. Okay. I was in. <laughs> I was in a show on Nickelodeon called Alien Dawn, and I played um, like a skateboarder girl named Lucy Condon, which is very close to condom, so it was like really weird. I don't know, I was like, that's a really weird last name to give someone, but whatever. I think I got casted when I was 24 or 23. Oh, I and thought I, this was a childhood No, thing. I played a 16 year old, because I looked so young when I was. Oh, this is really recent. I mean, I mean I'm 30, so not that recent. <laughs> just before I met you. Yeah, I mean, I had just wrapped it. I think maybe a year before. You didn't know. See, now the truth comes out. I never what? talked about it. I know. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I played a 16-year-old on Nickelodeon because I looked so. I just looked really young when I was 24. And how did you get young. it? So I, was, I had an acting agency, and they they asked me to go on this audition. And I don't know if I knew it was for Nickelodeon. I just knew it was for like a show or something. They didn't tell you, right? No, they don't well, tell they you. They, yeah, they're like, don't fuck that. <laughs> I'm like, oh. They also had asked you to wear something really bizarre. Um, they were like, can you wear like you're going to like a business thing? And like, but I, they said wear like you're going to a business meeting. But I read the role and it was for a 16 year old. So I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, I don't think I'm going to follow what they're doing. Yeah. I'm going to dress how a 16 year old would dress, which I mean, I dress pretty childish anyway. I dressed like. I Overall, like I dress, yeah, I dress, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I dress like a child. No, I'm just kidding. A little Victorian child, hey. So yeah, I got it. I did three auditions, um, and then I got it. Wait, why did they ask you to dress as I a business? I don't know. Remember we talked about business? Yeah, and they were like, like dress weird. like you're going to like kind of like something fancy. We were talking about it earlier, the strange things that you get asked to do or wear or look when you do these castings. So what did they make you do in the casting? Can you remember? I had to read sides that I had gotten that I didn't know very well. <laughs> and they crazy. asked me if I could skateboard, and I was like, absolutely. Like, literally, I don't know how to fucking skateboard. I mean, I know how to, like, I'll skateboard a little, but I don't know how to skateboard. I honestly said this in another interview I did, uh, where lie, lie, they lie. asked me about if I skateboarded. I don't know what it is with skateboarding. Like, like, I yeah. skateboard. Oh my god. I went to the callback. Nah, through your teeth. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Gun to my head, I'm like, I, I can ollie. Like, what <laughs> is an ollie? I was like, no, I don't want to do that. And I'm still friends with, like, some of the kids on the show, too. And what's it like, actually? I always wanted to know this. Are they, hmm, how do I phrase this? Nickelodeon is a company. Nice, right? We know they're the really Disney cool. stories. Oh, we you know the, the Disney, Disney kids stories. And you're like, whoa! <laughs> Nick's fun. Nick was yeah. really cool. Yeah, it was, uh, Nick. There was a kid on the show named Nick. He was really cool too. No, yeah, it's not like Disney. It was, it's like. It was like fun. It was really fun. The directors, they were called the Crook Brothers as well. And they were like super, they were kind of young as well. And they were just, the environment was fun. There was, was always like, there was always hot models on set. <laughs> I was like living for that. I was like, who's coming on set today? <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's okay. cute. They're like background? Good yeah, thing. there was like models that were just on set, just like chilling. The, one of, Wait, one of the guys that worked for Nick was like friends with like so many like these hot models and they were there and they were just like cute the as well. And I remember I was doing a scene one time and there is this model and he, he's actually really well known and he had a, he was his girlfriend. They're making out on like the side where you couldn't see them. Who was it? This guy named Ash. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and, he, yeah, yeah. and he was, I, I remember had to be is he like, British? I don't no. know what he is. He, he never really talks, he's always making out with this one girl on set. And I remember being like, I can't really concentrate when they're making out. Like, <laughs> I can't concentrate. What was it called? It was called Alien Dawn. And oh, okay. the storyline was the main character's dad got was abducted, baby by aliens or whatever. Yeah. And we were going to find out I, where his dad wait, was. I swear I've seen this. I watch 
Dis like Disney and Nickelodeon way up into I mean I think it's still on in France honestly. like really they dub you they, uh, yeah I she really speaks really French dub. so I know I, I could dub myself <laughs> yeah exactly it's too much work <laughs> You got into the acting through the modeling. I mean, I went to school for acting. I always wanted to act, and then I kind of just like fell on it, fell upon it again. Like I was yeah. modeling, and then I had the opportunity, and I was like, okay. And how did you get the modeling agent? Uh, my mom was a model. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mom. Huh? I got it through. I mean, through like her. I got it like. I guess through her a little bit, but also I was modeling in France without her. I was working at Billabong and I got uh, a campaign to for Rib Curl. Oh, wow. I was like working at the store and then oh. but I got like casted, I guess, to like... Be like what they do with the Abercrombie? Not you know, even. Sometimes I, Abercrombie I don't, I don't stuff, actually but... remember how it happened now that I'm thinking about it. It was like all really... I think I was like... I don't remember. I don't know. I think someone knew who I was, and they were like, "I like that girl from that." So it was, it was through family and like blah, blah, blah. not family, through but like family in New York, like, but in, but in France, it was like I got like lucky. Someone like knew who I was and was like, "She's cute. Let's cast her." That's awesome. I was like, "What's <laughs> modeling?" You had some advice for people. I know, like you fell into it, but people that like really want to do it, mm -hmm. what would you say? Like, would you say you were quite young when you started, or you'd start later, or like what advice? I think that everyone always goes start young, start young. Yeah. I think that was like always like the one thing that people said, but I think nowadays it's 2019. There's no age to reinvent yourself. Honestly, oh my God. how do we get to 2019? It's 2019. I thought it was 2018 I'm for like, like the months. end of the world. I know. I thought, I, was, here, like, <laughs> I thought I was gonna be like taken by the wrath of God. God. No, yeah. Like, like my clothes are here and like my body somewhere oh, else. Yeah. I feel like there's no age now. I feel like I feel like you can start whenever. I feel like people restrict mm. themselves too much on saying like, oh, you can start here, but if you're this old, then you can't do that anymore. And I just you know think Iris that's just not got right. signed. Ninety five. Who? I. What's her oh, name? Oh really? She's yeah, 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 the no one way. with the glasses, the big. Yeah, yeah she just got name? signed. Look, she's ninety five. Maddie, you must know her name. The ninety five yeah, with the big glasses. It's Iris. It's Iris. Iris. Uh, Ada, I don't know her last name. She just signed to IMG. No, no way! way. Yeah. And what, so she's 95 cool. years she's old? Like there you go. And she's got her own like line in like the sacks or wherever yeah. somewhere. It's like bugged off. Yeah. And I feel like, yes, I, my mom modeled and I feel like he'd be like, oh, your mom modeled, so it was easy. But like, even though your mom, even though my mom modeled, it doesn't mean it was any easier for me. She didn't act like yeah. I did and like I just kind of like got a really cool opportunity and I feel like sometimes you get presented these cool things and like, you have to just take them. Did you do lots stuff. of castings? I've done I've done so many castings for so many different things, and like I didn't get half the stuff. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. anyway, you just like have to keep doing it and keep trying, and you know, because I feel like it's like the one industry where like they're just like, oh, you're not pretty enough, or you're not, we're not, they're not, we're, you're not what we're looking for, it's, and it's just like so sad. And it's also I do think there's also a real time, as in like. So we had Cindy Crawford, and everyone was very athletic, and then we had Kate Moss, and it went super skinny, and now... Oh, you're right! Like, cause of... No, I wouldn't... I don't know if I say cause of Kardashian, but like, now it's a lot more, like, bigger, or curvy, or like, you know, uh, there's a famous male model who's like an albino, just stuff that like 10 years ago, or 5 yeah. years ago... Would have been today. like, no way! Yeah, they'd been like, oh, are you joking? Like, how would you even dare step in like, this industry? And now it's almost like, not the weirder, that's the wrong word, but like, you know what I mean? There is no height now. There is no, no like, it's true. there's no height. There's no real body type now. Yeah. You know, I feel like it's all about being who you are, your own style. Like, you can Hashtag, what did I text you guys about? Live, well, laugh, love. Live, live laugh, life. love. Like on the, like the signs in people's homes. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> the, yeah. Definitely Just have kidding. one of those. <laughs> Wait, you do? I know, I know. You know, I'm, you probably do. I'm literally like a walking basic meme. <laughs> no, you're not. I love oh all that. I'm like, oh no. yeah. All my, At all least my you don't have like things you course. don't understand in your house like I do. It's a great part. It's a season for everyone. <laughs> when did you start doing blogging? Oh my god, so yesterday was my nine year anniversary. Oh, I didn't actually see that. Yeah. I've seen nine years. Mm -hmm. So, so 2011? Oh, whatever. I don't know why that makes a difference. I don't know math. <laughs> I didn't major in math, guys. And how did that come across? So, I was working at a store. I was managing American Apparel. And I started blogging. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And I didn't really yeah. know where I wanted to go with my life, kind of. I knew I wanted to do more modeling, but I didn't really know how to tap into like a larger market you know what I mean yeah I also was kind of bored and didn't really have many friends and I started my yeah blog. right I mean I, I was worked at a store like I had whoever was at the store yeah. I didn't go to college New York. yeah I was in New York but yeah. like I had just moved here I started Cher Rouge nine years ago yesterday 
And what was the, where did the name come from? It came from my brother. I was like, what should I call it? What should I call my blog? Like, I wanted to like ha have something French in it, maybe like tro something, like tol something. And he was like, he's like, why don't you just call it Tro Rouge? No one's gonna read it anyway. And I was like, that's <laughs> a really good name. I really like that name. I'm gonna use it. And I was like, do you want to do the blog with me? And he was like, no one would do that stupid blog. <laughs> and he's literally like biting himself. Such a guy. He's like, God damn it. You know, but like, I was like, let's do the blog. And yeah. And what did you start? My, my friend Mariah, who's now a really cool tattoo artist, she okay. is like, she was like, you start a blog. And I was like, what's a blog? And I saw sure, a few. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh my God, like I have a bunch of clothes. I have a camera. I'm going to take some, I'm going to take some daily outfit posts, like for oh. the people or whatever, for myself. And then it just started. And I got like really a lot of popularity, like pretty, pretty quickly. And that, and what, really just weird. because you're putting on Instagram and like. I was on Lookbook. I was, I was blogging. Me too. Yes. 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 How good was Lookbook? Oh lookbook God. was like the oh. shit. Oh my God. You get, remember when they what changed it to like. Yes. It's like shit. before Instagram. Oh my God. Look, the Sheetopia. There was Sheetopia. Yes. Lookbook. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. It was like. Lookbook. That shit was popping. If you were on that top. No, it's like it was just for outfits. And, never hit and, the and then the people like, then people like <laughs> like it. They like it, and the more likes you get, the more you're on top. Oh uh, my god! Oh, it's yeah. like a game. You yeah, know, it was. It was literally. It was like. It was like. It's, it was like it's and you can only post a certain yeah. amount per day. I think you can only post three looks a day or something. Yeah. I don't remember. They had to change. What is kind of genius? They should revive it as some kind. I mean, of it's like, called Instagram. Yeah, now it's literally called Instagram. And people commented mm -hmm. and it linked back to your thing. Yeah, it is. And then you like other people and then you become friends and la la la. It was amazing. I'm but then, so then after that, Instagram just happened and everyone signed up to Instagram. I'm actually well, like, I never, I'm not I'm, sure. I'm like, welcome to my TED talk. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Instagram happened maybe a year after Lookbook got really popular, I think. I don't know, maybe a year and a half, two years. And then I didn't join Instagram straight away. I was like, this is bizarre. I love Lookbook. I was like, Lookbook's for me. And then now <laughs> it's like, you go, you tell them you're on Lookbook, they're like, whoa, that's like saying you use an encyclopedia. Like, that's a weird <laughs> thing. <laughs> lookbook was the shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I don't know, yeah, maybe I'll revive a kind of. I'm going through memory lane, go. Please. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going down memory lane. Beginning outfits, what are we talking here? You know what's Because really she's got great style, but I'm wondering, do we have um, a You know what? I've always had good style. Oh, God damn you. <laughs> no, I was like, I'm like, you know, I'm going to call it when I call it. It's the French was, in you. I was looking at whole lot of myself. There's like things that like, I did with my funny. hair where I'm like, that was a weird choice. Yeah. Like, the color was <laughs> odd. But I don't know. I was a, little, I was a lot more experienced. I experimented more though. Yeah. I think I was trying to figure out who, what my style yeah. was still. What would you describe your style? I think my style is very me. I've worn this outfit since Monday. It's now like, mm, yeah. This it's is my big, favorite. <laughs> it really, yeah, it really is. is. This is a five day old outfit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, my style I think is very classic, but also I think it has like a little bit of French style mixed with like American West, I think it has a lot of West Village and Parisian mixed together now. That is a, I like one love West a Village beautiful now. Beautiful mix. Um, West yeah. Village and Parisian. Hell <laughs> I yes, I want to buy into that. I think people might find it boring. I feel like everyone on Instagram always is like flexing, and like there's so many colors and everyone's like, no. Actually, Gucci, you're, Gucci, Gucci, and you, I'm like I always cool. say your things. Really? I never tell you, but I always say them. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. When you show me, I'm looking back, and I'm like, what's Christina? And I'm like, like oh, it's so thing cool. Over. Yeah, which is good. We shouldn't have to just throw it away. No throwaway fashion. Right. So when, yeah. so you, when did your following, like, how did it start on Instagram to then really take off? I think it all just happened gradually. I think in the beginning oh, so was... when people were following you, it would, like, people, a lot of people would follow you. Where now you'll get, like, 20 followers a day or um, 100 if you're lucky or something. Yeah. I feel like um, I, up, I go up and down. Like, I'll lose as much. Like, I'll lose a lot as well. Where are they mainly from? Do you Wait, like, where are the people from? Yeah. Oh, my God, my biggest following is in Brazil. Okay. Sorry. Like, hello, where's my flight? <laughs> Why are you I'm ready to go to Rio. Daddy? Hello, like, bring me to Brazil. Um, God, wonder, maybe your Nick shows out there. I'm maybe, so good. Could you imagine? There's just, like, photos of me everywhere. I'm like, Why? <laughs> 
I'm like ripping them down. Like, take it down. <laughs> you get off the plane. It's like, welcome to Brazil from CC. Oh my god. Wait, I want this to happen now. <laughs> okay, yeah. We can, I, I'm, I, I love how we say weekend. I can't. Yeah, let's no both go to okay. Brazil. I would love to go to Take Brazil. the show Hell on yeah. the road. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> like, you took it from that. We already did. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> Like, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. I just want someone to explain to people out there what a blogging, a blogger trip, an influencer trip, influencer, influencer trip, trip yeah. is like. You can be as unhonest or honest as you uh, Influencer trips are, are definitely different places. It's a very interesting environment <laughs> to be in. Very... I've already been on a few and I was like, it's a weird <laughs> place to be in. You kind of feel either you feel really good about yourself after, or you want to kill yourself. Yes. So there's no in between. Yeah, that is <laughs> either true. you're like I'm great with this, or like I don't think I'm comfortable in my body anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm cool. I've been lucky enough to be on trips where I have a lot of friends with me. That's because good. I'm not really even though I'm really like sociable and I love meeting new people. I'm not really one to really make a lot of new 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 friends. Yeah. So like I because it takes me a really long time to like. Be like, okay, I'm safe with you. I can tell you secrets. Like, you're my friend, so I can like. I was gonna worry that. I didn't know what we were gonna go. It's quite awkward. It's just like, mm. I'm still testing you out five years later. Like, I'm, like, like, oh, I'm like, it's your turn. We went away. Yeah, exactly. I'll just see myself out of school. You're like, <laughs> on that note, I'm, you're like, I'm cut like, it, cut this it. This is real sad. I thought I came to interview my mate. No. No, anyway. Um, yeah, I yeah just, so you can go on some with your, but then it's obviously like. There's trips I go on, I don't know anybody, and you just like make new friends, and you know, they, they become like really lifelong friends or like cool people. Was the yeah. coolest one you've been on. Like when you came back, you're like, oh, that oh was sick. I went to, I love, I just love, I love Utah. <laughs> I, <can't laughs> I love Utah. So random. I know, I do. I fucking love Utah. I think it's a fucking beautiful place. And I love yeah, Wyoming. Man. I just love weird American okay. states. <laughs> I loved um, my ski trip uh, to su to Sundance, and I went there to oh. to Salt Lake City. I thought it was really fun. I laughed really hard. I actually fractured my arm oh, no. the second day. Oh no! I <laughs> and I got wasted the rest of the trip. <laughs> best trip of my life. <laughs> Literally lived my Who best life with? in Utah Who with Justin. It? We were there with a vodka company. Oh my god, so I was there with a vodka company. Yeah, water she's And at one point, I was drinking water. <laughs> yeah, oh wait, this is really water. And I was there with a vodka company, and at the at, um, we were doing this like activation for like many months. So we were doing like three months in a row basically with this vodka company. Great vodka. Even if you didn't want to drink, like around five o'clock, they'd be like, all right, time to start drinking. And so you just like had to trek your ass over to the kitchen, start downing vodka. I mean, you don't, there's no gun to my head to drink, but like I definitely wasn't saying no to like vodka. Oh my like, God, alcohol. that's a fun one. It was just like fun and fun. And we had to go, we got to like meet a lot of people, got to watch a lot of movies, but mainly I was just like drunk a lot of the time. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> don't take that when I'm drunk. <laughs> And that, no, 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 no. that for me merits a really great trip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you do your things, right? I've always wanted this. And you're walking down the street and you're like, hi, I'm CC, like blah, blah, whatever. Oh, my stories. Stories. Yeah, so I would just, a general wonder, do you feel weird doing it? Or do people ever look at you? Or do you, I don't know, is it, do you do it when no one's around? Like, do you wait for everyone to go? Or? I wait if there's like cute people on the street. Even though I have a you boyfriend, know. if there's like someone cute, I'm gonna like put the phone down. I don't want to look at like I don't want to look crazy, you know what I mean? I do look around a little bit first. Yeah. Okay, okay, family with a child, she doesn't care about me. Uh, old man, he doesn't even see I see like sussing out I'm the like, situation. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, you know, figuring it out and then I'll put the phone up. But I don't usually do a lot on the street okay. as much. Well, I usually do it at home. I'm, a very, I'm always at home. This is like mm. my safe place. I wouldn't leave this house. This is my nest. Then. But when I do do on the street, because I do, but not a yeah. lot, um, I will assess the situation to see if it's like, if And then you like, feel fine doing it. Yeah. But I'll only do it like once. Like <laughs> embarrassed. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I think I tried. I did it like once and somebody like shouted at me. I know. Like across the street. And I was like, never again. This is never going to You're like, never, never. I was like, this is not happening. I know. It gets so weird. And even at events sometimes, I'll, I'll, it's, I don't know. It depends. Oh yeah, I guess. Because there's a lot. I know, but I it's feel like you're so movies. good and natural and great on camera. Oh my you know god, what I mean? thank that you. I like what you know when you have the stories and it's obviously like there'll be a bunch. Oh Some people god. are like, oh, what am I doing? I and with you, I'm like, oh yeah, where are oh, we going now? Really? Like, <laughs> oh my god, that's such a compliment because sometimes I'm like, oh god, I'm that person. That's not. Good. No, not at all. Do you have any advice for people out there that are starting to or want to grow a following or like <clears> I don't know any tips or hacks that you might know? I do, I do. I feel like, like I said before, there's no age to 
There's nothing. No age to reinvent yourself, ladies. You can do things whenever the fuck you want to do it. You want to do it tomorrow, you fucking do it tomorrow. No one let anyone tell you not to do it. Woo! It's true, though. Ah! Don't ever th don't ever doubt yourself. I hate people doubt themselves. I Are think you willing up? Yeah, I'm not going to I should I'm, 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 I'm going to die because I'm, I'm ovulating. ovulating. I'm ovulating. I think that you need to be consistent. Stay mm -hmm. consistent. Yeah. Um, Know when you start what message you want to put out there. Uh-huh. Um, if you want it to be about fashion, then make it be about fashion, but make it be about your fashion. Don't copy people, because that's yeah. really transparent. And there's so many people out there that fucking look the same, I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore, because it just looks so the same. Yeah. And, yeah. What else? What do you think? <laughs> I don't know, because I had such a love-hate relationship, like sometimes I'm like, I'm going to do so many stories, and look, this is what I'm eating, or blah, 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 or like, you know. And then I just go and I'm like, I don't want anything to do with it. I just, I don't, you know, I won't go on the app. I'll like delete it for a bit. I'm so it's a up and down. Place as it well. is. But I love people that put out like, I love your door story, and it's like really you with no makeup on, and it's just oh, yeah. you know I've what I mean? always like, like yeah. it's, 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 it's. I also find it fascinating. Like, do you have, do you have anyone, any stalks that you like to do? Any, any people that any like fun. any stalking? Um, I love Conan O'Brien. Kind of I hope O'Brien. he watches this. It's Conan O'Brien. Wait. <laughs> I love Conan O'Brien. I said it. There, you heard it here first. I'm so confused. I, I follow a lot of comedians on Instagram. He's a good. I he's a know. he's a redhead comedian. I do know he is. I thought you were just joking. Eleven o'clock. Oh, I know you're wrong. Tune in, NBC. You're serious. Yes. <laughs> She's being sponsored by us. Yeah, I'm being like right. sponsored like Team Coco. Team Coco. <laughs> Um, I love Jim Gaff. I follow Jim Gaffigan and Conan O'Brien. I like stalk their profile. Really? Yeah, okay. I'm obsessed with comedian so no, like, Instagram. Okay, so it is interesting. Oh, so and our female and, star blogger is obsessed with the male Instagram. With the uh, with older male, <laughs> with old male comedians that do not, that have families. <laughs> that do not care about me. It's probably not. No, I mean, no. And John Mayer, because he's hot, but whatever. Oh, is he on Instagram? Oh, well, that's God. a good one. He I can't believe I've not. He did an Instagram a couple days ago where he um, talked about the difference between Shake Shack and In N Out. It's amazing. Okay. What, on his story? Or on yes. His, on it's, his... You missed out. All right, wonderful. <laughs> so basically, yeah, no, I don't know. That sounds like good tips. Yeah. Stay consistent. Oh, keep them. And then also, whatever you have to think about when you go on people's Instagram, what you want people to feel when they leave your page. Do, they want, do you want them to be happy when they leave? Yeah, I do. Yeah. You don't want them to want the... I don't want them to be sad. I get sad after visiting some pages. I'm like, this is real sad. This person's like real cool. Are you taking photos? Are you doing it on your phone or do you use a camera? I don't know why. I'm always My fascinated. My camera. To... You do use a camera when you're doing all the blog camera. posts. Camera. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm saying it like that, but yes. Camera. Camera. All right, sweet. Any other last nuggets of information that you can divulge into the status for, for, for women for no, people, just for women's general. yeah women general women. awesome positive my advice for women is don't let like such a strange I know thing. I'm like my <laughs> advice for you ladies is take your tampon out don't <laughs> uh, <laughs> this so yeah that was nuts I feel like we should just like own ourselves and be happy and like when you go on Instagram if you're not happy with looking at if you go on if you have pages you look at and they don't make you happy don't follow those people you want to be happy every day, and you want to wake up happy. My whole oh, like, we happy. should like do an out on this and like some happy songs oh, that happy we don't have to pay day. for with copyright. Oh yeah. Oh. La 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 la. Thanks, Christina. I love you. Thank you so much.